Hello, my name's Bram, and this is my car, the Yeti Sled, a Subaru Forester XT. Today I'm going to be giving a rundown on how to check uh, timing with a timing light. Um, the reason I'm doing this is I've recently installed a new ECU to run the, uh, the engine, and it should be checked with a timing light to make sure that the triggers are set correctly. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Um, the engine is a double overhead cam engine and it has recessed spark plugs down there so checking the um, the timing is a bit more difficult than a conventional um, engine with uh, with a plug leads or you know distributor type setup um, so what I'm using today is basically a little adapter it um, goes down to the spark plug has a little light so you can see the uh, spark event and that's uh, the, the coil the coil on plug has been uh, unscrewed and plugged directly into it um, so that will allow me to plug the timing light in and check timing. Just a cheapy little automotive uh, tester, bought from a local parts store. It's battery operated, has a clamp on it, a um, little arrow to indicate the direction of uh, spark towards the engine, and it goes on a number one cylinder. This is the typical way you would uh, check timing on, a, on any engine's number one cylinder. So we pick the pickup onto the, that little adapter lead that I've got in there. <coughs> I'm like clear of the belts when I start it. Um, I had to do one extra step in order to do this. I had to put my uh, original crank pulley back on there. I was using a Perrin crank pulley, but unfortunately these don't actually have a timing reference mark on there. So I had to remove it in order to, to check it. What I will be doing when I put it back on is uh, setting setting the engine on the timing mark on, onto the so it's lined up and then I'll swap the pulley over and make a permanent mark on this pulley so that I've got it there if I ever need to do it again. It's a bit disappointing to have to go this extra step but I mean it's not too much work it's just a little bit of annoyance. Okay so that's how I'll check the timing. Over here uh, I've got the laptop plugged in. Uh, there's another step I'm going to do and that is checking the trigger pattern that's only because of uh, wired in this ECU and uh, analog sensor. I could potentially have had the wires uh, wrong way around, which is given a, a backwards um, AC signal on the crank angle sensor. So first we'll uh, flick the uh, ignition to on. We'll connect the uh, ECU. We can start it up. Don't know if you can hear this over the uh, the engine running there, it's a bit bit noisy. Um, but we're going to go to this is the software for the Link G4 Plus computer uh, under ECU controls. Go down to trigger scope. This is a built-in oscilloscope uh, on the uh, ECU that will allow us to see what what the patterns are on the cam and crank angle sensors. So we can just go uh, capture. That's what we're seeing right now. I'll just get the divisions right. Try two volts per division, and I'll space the uh, the timing on the divisions out a bit further as well. Try 20. Don't know if you can see that well, but that's basically uh, crank angle sensor on the top and cam angle sensor on the bottom. Uh, this, the way this is set up, it's to look for a falling edge. So as the AC voltage goes up and down, when it falls uh, over the predefined. Uh, limit that's what it's looking for to count timing it's got a number of evenly spaced uh, teeth on the crank pulley and then you've got spaces and that's what allows the engine to know its position is the the missing missing vent which is denoted by the slower um, signal there so that's trigger scope that looks all right to me I think <laughs> so we can close that down and now we can check the timing the first thing we have to do is lock timing to a, a base amount so the ECU isn't adjusting it. So we can go into our uh, ECU settings here under triggers, go down to calibrate, you know, down the bottom. That will bring up this menu here. Just get that centered. Um, down the bottom, set base timing. A little, uh, little spanner, we can open the box. And that is now locking timing to uh, 10 degrees before top dead center. So now we'll go back to our timing light and we'll try that. 
pretty basic. We've got two buttons. One's a torch. The other one is the uh, timing light. So, just so you can see, that flashing light indicates the spark. So you can see there's actually a spark down there. So with the timing light on, we're going to look. We can see the mark is pretty much 